Based on Russian reports as of September 10, 2023, Oleksandr Potapov, the general director of the Russian company Eurovaganzovat, has recently revealed plans to reinitiate the production of T-80 series tanks, essentially starting from scratch. This decision comes as the Russian Ministry of Defense recognizes it as a significant endeavor. The decision to restart the production of T-80 tanks appears to be driven by the tanks' performance in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. T-80 tanks have demonstrated valuable capabilities, providing insights into their potential usefulness for the Russian armed forces. However, this decision may also be interpreted as an effort to address a less favorable reality. Open Source Intelligence OSINT, sources suggest that Russia has suffered substantial losses in Ukraine, including the confirmed loss of 2,309 tanks, with 624 of them being T-80s. Achieving the goal of reviving T-80 tank production will require collaboration between Eurovaganzavod and the Russian Ministry of Industry and Trade. This partnership aims to address urgent needs, such as acquiring new equipment and expanding production capabilities. The focal point of this effort is the Omsk Transmash Armored Plant, a facility with a history of tank manufacturing during the Soviet era. Since the dissolution of the USSR in the early 1990s, the plant has primarily focused on servicing and repairing tanks. On September 11, 2023, the Army Recognition Editorial Team reported that this same plant unveiled the T-80 BVM Model 2023, an upgraded version of the T-80 BVM main battle tank, influenced by combat experience gained during the war in Ukraine. Reports from Russian social media sources suggest that OMS Transmash is preparing to produce 152 T-80 BVM Model 2023 tanks, with 15 of them already loaded onto transport platforms, indicating potential deployment to active combat zones. The forthcoming generation of T-80 tanks is expected to undergo substantial changes compared to their predecessors. Many critical components and technologies are slated for updates and improvements. For example, alternative manufacturing methods, such as welding pre-made armor plates, may be considered for specific components due to limitations in domestic capabilities. While production restarts, it's crucial to note that the Russian military has been actively involved in modernizing and refurbishing existing T-80 tanks. These upgrades encompass the integration of advanced components like Sosnyu tank sites, GTD, 1250 gas turbine engines, 2A46M tank guns, and other enhancements designed to enhance the tank's performance and extend their operational lifespan. Nevertheless, this endeavor presents significant challenges. Tank production demands specialized expertise and state-of-the-art machinery. Russia faces obstacles related to personnel, educational institutions, and machine tool construction, making this a complex undertaking. The T-80 is a Russian main battle tank that evolved from the T-64 main battle tank and was the first Russian-made tank to feature a gas turbine engine. It was introduced into service in 1976. The T-80 is distinct from the Soviet T-72, despite their visual similarities. The T-80 includes several variants, such as the T-80BV, T-80BVM, and T-80U, each with its own unique features and capabilities. The T-80 is equipped with a 125mm 2A46 smoothbore gun, similar to the T-72, with a horizontal ammunition stowage system. It also features a 7.62mm PKT coaxial machine gun and a 12.7mm Utes NSVT 12.7 air defense machine gun. Additionally, it is outfitted with electrically operated smoke grenade dischargers. The T-80's layout resembles that of the T-64 and includes armor enhancements, such as special armor on the turret and a laminate-type glassy plate designed to enhance protection against kinetic energy and heat attacks. The T-80 is powered by a gas turbine engine producing 1,000 horsepower, enabling a maximum road speed of 70 km per hour. Some later variants reverted to diesel engines. It features a unique gearbox with five forward and one reverse gear. 
Standard equipment include snorkels for deep fording operations, an overpressure type NBC protection system, night vision equipment for all crew members, and a laser warning device. The tank can also carry additional fuel drums for extended range. The T-80 has been adopted by several countries, including Belarus, Cyprus, Kazakhstan, South Korea, Pakistan, Russia, Ukraine, and Yemen. Over the years, it has undergone various upgrades and improvements to maintain its effectiveness on the battlefield.